Welcome to Get Tutorials, and in this video, I'll be doing question 68 from 1.5 exercises in James Stewart Calculus. So you're asked to find the exact value of each of these. Starting with the first one, there's a rule that says if you find the inverse of an original function, or if you basically do it in any order like this, then they basically cancel out the official rule. I believe is this at the top so that's exactly what we have so in other words we have the arc sine of sine so this arc sine cancels the effect of sine and we just have the argument of sine as the answer so the answer to the first one is 5 pi over 4 and if we look at the second one the trig ratios are not the same so we can't apply the same rule and so let's just focus on this part. We have arc sine of 5 over 13. And we can imagine this in this way. Let's say this is theta. Let's say this is an angle. This tells you that you originally had, so if you apply the sine on both sides, then that cancels the effect of the arc sine, and you just have 5 over 13, but you do have a sine on this side. So we can imagine this as our original form, or where we started. And if you remember from your trig ratios, this is y over r. And we can find x using Pythagoras. And now, now that we have this information, we're actually going to use it to find x, and we need an x because we are assigning theta to this part here and which means we can replace our theta there so this question is essentially to theta but what is theta theta is arc sine of 5 over 13 and now this is cosine and this is a double angle identity which you can write like this or in any of the other forms that it has. It has three forms. So we have a cosine here, and we need to find the x, because remember, cosine is x over r. This is y over r. We already have this y over r. We just need to find the x so that we can find our final answer. So a quick recap of what I meant, or what I was saying, is this is an angle. And we can use Pythagoras to relate that angle to trig values, so your y, your r, and your x. And based on that, we're going to substitute this angle in place of arc sine of 5 over 13. And if we do that, we now have cosine of 2 theta, which you can express in any of its forms, but whichever form that you choose might have um, cosine, for example. So you might not need to use cosine if you want to use its form where you only have um, your sign. So that might be a hack for you. So you can either first find x and then solve it in this way or choose to use this form of the double angle which is 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. This is also another form of the double angle and in this case you don't need to find the x. So you can go ahead 1 minus 2 and your y is 5, your r is 13, and you can square that. And when you work this out, you're going to get 119 over 169. So it's totally up to you. You can either go for this method, which is quite direct, or you can first find your x to use any of the other two forms of your double angle identity that has a cosine.